Uh, I'm Griffin Cork, and I'm playing Crossan. I'm Doug Mertz, and I'm, I'm playing Stalin. Well, it's about embalming Lenin, and uh, as dry and scientific as that sounds, it's been told in a, in a very human, very exciting and fun way. Mm, older. A year! Older. <sighs> this one looks really good! Twenty years! Impossible! Twenty years have these been sitting in my office, and they look as good as the day that I first embalmed them. Well, it's my first time uh, uh, performing in this space, in, the, in this lovely studio theater, so um, and it was one of the largest venues I've performed in. We will make Lenin live forever. Yes! We will immortalize communism for all time! Yes! The great thing is, three of the members of the company were in a program that I run in my day job at the Citadel Theatre, so I was actually their teacher a few years oh. ago. And now to be on stage with them is just like the ultimate coming full circle thing, so it's really great. What? What is that? It's too late! Oh, look here, Professor! His lips are three centimeters apart. There are brown patches on his thighs. His right hand is turning gray. His ears are crumpling, and his brain has been removed. It okay. is being studied! Uh, my name's Alexander Donovan, and I'm the director for this production of Lenin's and Balmers. Something I really like about Alex is something I like in kind of all directors is when something new happens in the room, he's very good at getting you excited about his new discovery. You know what I mean? Like in the middle of the scene, he'll go, oh, ah, right? And I immediately go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what, tell me whatever you want to say. So he, he's really good, which I think is a lot of his like very youthful energy, right? He just kind of brings into the room and he's just, like you can tell he's just excited about it and he loves the work, which, yeah. is, which is just something you need in the rehearsal hall. Mm -hmm. You need someone who cares so much. And that's what Alex is. Yeah, yeah and I think it's, it's great to be able to see a play that is written by a playwright who makes his home in Edmonton, mm -hmm. who has been produced, uh, you know, across the country and around the world, and uh, and yet to see his work here and to have him appear in his own work, which he doesn't do very often. I mean, this is the first time he's acted in a long time. So to actually see Vern on stage is, uh, you know, I think that's reason enough. And you know, plus the rest of the cast is pretty good too. I think. <laughs> <Cast>. <laughs> see Vern. <laughs>